<sighs> Welcome back everybody to the Laughing Golem. And today, we're gonna be working again on the Creeper Tower. Yes, I've done a lot of work off camera since last time, and I really do need to light up these sides, because these could be an issue if I'm not careful. But let's not be too worried now, shall we? Oh, and you can see I also started working on some chimneys over there for decoration. I really love the stone brick texture that I've been working on with that. That looks so nice. Anywho, let's kind of work on going on up here. Sorry if this video comes out a little late. It might come out on Sunday, and overall, I'm going back to university, so my upload schedule might actually change. I might start have to upload on Sunday in general, but uh, I had some family matters to attend to this week, so this video may not be as polished as I'd like, but yeah, I think I got this starting to work. It seems some of the time though, this level gets powered on and then other levels don't and it just kind of mixes and matches and I have no idea why. But um, all I know is when I was testing it, I actually got a few creeper drops. I got eight gunpowder, so um, we're rich. And none of that matters. Oh, that's not a good sign. Um, we're gonna have to work on that. But yeah, we're gonna have to work on making a bit of a collection system at the bottom here. I'm thinking maybe underneath all of this we're gonna have some sort of, uh, oh, go away spider. We're gonna have some sort of, what I would say is like a minecart hopper system going around and picking it all up. And then alongside with this we're also going to have to make a paper farm. Cause we can get all the gunpowder in the world, but we do also, oh, what are those guys doing? We do also need a sugarcane farm, which will be very very important, right? I think so. But yeah, we're starting to get more gunpowder, which is exactly what we need. And yeah, let me try it one more time. That was scary. I'll be right back, folks. Whoa. What did I miss? Oh, ah, spider. I did make sure to do the minimum height for creepers, but maybe spiders live longer or something because of the fact that they can crawl on the walls? I don't know. All I'm knowing though is this is spawn. When this lever is down, this is when they start spawning. And when I pull it up, they come down. That's all I know. And that's all I need to know. Anywho, we should probably get rid of this little dirt thing here. It's kind of ugly, if I'm being honest with y'all. Ugh, so is my inventory. My inventory is a mess. Um, yeah, rip that dirt. Ugh. The clean and organized side of me is screeching and screaming. Although I probably killed that part of me a long time ago. Uh, and yeah, now we just need to find a good spot to put in a sugarcane farm, which I think will be pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe right, 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 right there. I think I might cascade it possibly and have different levels and such. And I'll have to figure out how exactly I'm going to do this. I might just be able to use some of the observers to just have it observe and just send out a pulse to a piston or something. It can't be too bad with modern Minecraft redstone. It's honestly not that bad. I'm not a redstone genius by any sta state of the matter. So hopefully this will be doable. Oh man, I just love these textures. Yeah, I'm continuously trying to work on making the textures of Minecraft just a little bit more interesting. Just to give a bit of my own little kick to it. Like, you might notice if I stop dying. Um, you might notice that some of the grass is just a little different. It's really hard to tell, but it kind of looks like it sticks up more. Instead of uh, just going straight down like that one. So I have a uh, different Minecraft block variants for that too. Uh, we gotta deal with those um, illagers up there, those bandits, but we don't worry about those. So yeah, I don't know, just seeing this alcove makes me think, good spot to build. So I'm probably going to be building here. Oh, and this is a little, um, how do you say, this might be a little spoilery of me, but I have some really cool stuff in the works. It'll probably take some time, you probably won't see it for at least another good two weeks, but I have some pretty great ideas in store for a future kind of series thing I can do here that I think would be really, really cool. Let me just grab a bit more. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell or not, it's a little hard to tell, but my recording setup right now is not the best. 
most of my stuff is actually away from me right now because I had to go on an emergency out of nowhere and I wasn't able to take anything with me and my stuff's just kind of scattered all over now but that's okay you have to do what you have to do anywho I'll be back all right let's mine 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 we're gonna collect some uh, building resources for a little bit of a how do you say a little bit of a structural start to our farm chop 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 I love that silhouette I can't wait to add more to this town I think this is gonna be a really cool district and kind of area and city I hope you all agree with me and I hope that I can help to find my niche on this channel because that's something I'm struggling with is I'm trying to figure out what direction I want to go with everything I do here I started off with just straight up kind of medieval type of feel knowing I wanted to do something industrial in the future just because you know you need some form of farms if you want to do anything super productive in my opinion um, in Minecraft. Also, sorry if I sound a little different. Um, I've been having a lot of coughing dealing with lately, and um, my voice is a little hoarse because of it. I'm okay though. But yeah, I'm struggling to try to figure out where exactly I want to go, but at the same time, I'm enjoying the process of it. Excuse me. I'm enjoying the process of it very much. And we mine, 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 and we mine. Yeah, I think, because I have a little bit of experience with kind of, um, how do you say, with like art and drawing things. I think a lot of people have experience with that. Um, oh, I don't like you. I don't want to collect you, but I don't like seeing you float. But I feel like I have a pretty decent level of experience with drawing in general, and I'm trying to decide if I should focus more on pixel art, or if I should focus more on regular drawings, or if I should not worry about it and kind of stick with the weird mix I got going here. But at the same time, I don't want to be a copycat of anybody. Um, and I know another YouTuber who kind of does stuff like that. They don't do Minecraft videos, but they have a mix of stuff. And I just want to make sure whatever I do, I can be a unique boy with it all. Okay. Let's put our stone together. Let's put two and two together. Beautiful. Yeah, I need to update the slab textures too, because right now, they aren't really doing too well. Yahoo! Let's see. Oh! I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea how to do this. I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate and then probably refurbish it and redo it and then do it again. I did add a little bit of crack to one of the types of stone bricks I can show. I didn't want it to be too much of a crack because I don't want to steal the thunder. Is this right pit? Yes. I didn't want to steal the thunder of cracked stone brick, because otherwise, what's the point of even using that, you know? But I wanted a little crack, just something a little interesting, you know? How many... That's also a thing, is we need to figure out how many different levels. I think at least four blocks should be perfect, because we need enough space to make sure that water grows. Although, ooh, with the modern Minecraft update, we can go to three here, and then we could have a slab here to put the water in. So it might actually be okay to do three. I don't know. I'll challenge myself to do three. This will be kind of like a view. This isn't, I mean, you can't grow, what? You can't grow that stuff. You can't grow paper. You can't grow sugar cane on stone bricks. That'd be a blessing. But no, you can't do that. So I'm just gonna hop on over here. This is just gonna be kind of for a display, and I can't do anything. 
Yeah, I need to get used to the world of Elytra. This is very hard to use. Okay. Three blocks here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is going to be a bit more of a talky episode. Just since I've had some emergencies and stuff to get to and it's at a busy time. But I want to make sure that I keep delivering to y'all. Because this is something I very much enjoy. And... I feel like there's some people who actually legitimately watch my content, which surprises me so far. We'll see. Yeah, I'm still in the early days. I've only been around for like, what, two months? A month? So you can't really definitively say anything about whether or not I'm going to be doing this or that, that or this. And I just got to kind of wing it. Uh-oh. I don't know if I did that right. This is wrong. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look at how that looks. Should it make too big of a difference? Yeah, not too big a difference, but it looks nice. We'll have to figure this out. We're going to need a lot of observers. Um, for each row. So I'm going to have to be collecting on cobblestone most particularly. Because I actually have a pretty good stash of quartz right now. Just most noticeably is probably redstone and definitely cobble. Which... I will spoil a little bit, that is going to be part of a future idea of a series I got going on. It'll be a nice little project to work on. We'll see. <laughs> and then we're going to need some dirt, aren't we? Yeah. Remember back in the old days for any Minecraft veterans when at one point the whole rumor was that you could... Uh, grow sugarcane faster if you just place it on sand. I remember those days. I don't even know where I heard it. Don't know anything like that. All I remember is sugarcane grows best on sand. But I don't think that's true. I think that was debunked. Oh, I'm an expert builder, y'all. Okay, let's get this done. Man, Minecraft has changed a lot over the years. I'm really glad it has. Nothing wrong with it in the past, just... It's grown so much. And I know there's been growing pains where people don't like it so much, or they think it's bad, or... Whatever have you. How am I gonna collect these? Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that question. Uh... I might have to do something. I might have to. <laughs> I might have to re, re realign these. I should have thought it through more. That's okay. I enjoy the talking and I enjoy working on these little things. I think we actually will need like four or five rows because maybe. I don't know. What would the best way to collect them be? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe this part could be a clear spot that they all fall down through. That they all try to fall down through at least. And they could have a row of hoppers on the bottom. Or a hopper minecart that picks it all up. And this could be uh, full blocks of glass for this part. It won't be the prettiest, but we could probably add a bit of a lip to make it look a bit more layered. So it could be two blocks of stone brick instead of just one. I think that might work. Yeah, okay, no, this isn't a mistake. I, th I hope. It won't be the most efficient farm, but like y'all probably remember I said before, I ain't the most efficient guy. Like that farm up there, that's not an efficient farm at all. <laughs> but it's my own little thing. I didn't see any online tutorials about it, and I kind of just nipped it from another person. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just kind of did it. And I like that kind of style. So yeah, we're good. Yeah, this is probably going to be a pretty short one today, folks. But I think we might have to end around here. Just because I really don't have time to do as much as I'd like. But I still want to get something out to y'all. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned before. But I, I know I said how I want to create smog and stuff. But like, 
I want to make sure that I have like stuff billowing out of those like uh, gray kind of stuff I'm pretty sure I didn't build those on camera I'm pretty sure yeah I know I didn't build those on camera but I really like them yeah this is gonna be a pretty nice build when it's done it's gonna be kind of like poking out of the wall kind of like a facade and yeah I want to kind of form this into like a cool pathway I know I mentioned that before but just imagine it just put it in your head I'm really glad I decided to work on inside the mountain instead of in the plains area because I love to just work with terrain and to make something really cool from something that already exists kind of like having this be my canvas you know those cave sounds are always getting to me yeah I just oh this is gonna be beautiful beautiful in its own weird smoggy way and oh wait, no. I have fireworks now Woo! I think I can I heard a spider definitely but I bet you there's also creepers down there do creepers make noises I don't know anywho thank y'all again so much for watching I really appreciate the viewership and yeah let me now know down in the comments if you really care I suppose but let me know down in the comments if you are interested in me doing pixel art or drawing. Maybe I'll leave a bit of a poll. We'll see. But uh, yeah, thank you all so, so much again for watching. Like if you enjoy. Dislike if you don't. Whatever you do, just know I will appreciate any feedback whatsoever. Good or bad. Because either way is a sign of growth. <laughs>